Welcome to Wake the Fuck Up Wednesday. Hey, drop it down to the earth. Have a seat with me and let's go inwards and drop in to this eclipse energy. How is this eclipse portal for you? We are in between two eclipses right now and it is this really huge opportunity to transform and grow. So are you transforming and growing and tapping into your highest alignment? Or are you feeling stuck and stressed and asking yourself what the is going on? Well, I invite you to drop in with me because oh, we are at that midpoint at the astrological year, so the equinox. And we can really take this opportunity to look back on this first part of the astrological year and celebrate, celebrate all that we are, all that we've overcome, all that we've accomplished, and think about how we are going to move ahead. How will we like to take this next six months of our life? And also really embracing not only the light that lives within us, but the shadow because our wounds become our greatest gifts and what we're here to share with the world. And with these two eclipses, we had a lunar eclipse on the full moon. And then around October 2nd, we have a solar new moon eclipse. And this last eclipse was really about the past and letting go and breakthroughs and endings so ending those old patterns beliefs stories holding you back from really stepping into this new chapter this new beginning this new moon energy and frequency and it's like we're on this bridge and maybe you're not feeling so clear about where you're going and that you may be stuck in the chaos and the intensity of an overwhelm and just know that we're in between these two frequencies and we are going from one to the other and sometimes we don't see the clarity quite yet and the only way out is through. So just continue to take one step in front of the other even though you may not see the whole staircase and just continue to trust in the process of your own journey and really honoring the power of your sacred no, which for women is the time after bleeding and really honoring your sword of discernment and cutting away the bullshit. Like how many times are we pulled in all these different directions, distracted from coming into full alignment with who we are and why we're here on the planet. So really honoring honoring and listening to your temple body listening to your intuition when something doesn't feel right because what you're doing is you're actually creating space for what you truly desire living your full fuck yes life so whether you want to be more confident or you want to be committed to your spirituality or changing how your body looks and feels or you want to call in sacred union in your life or you want to call in what is my purpose calling in more money more clients whatever that is we have to be willing to say no to what's not serving which is that lunar eclipse energy so that we can create space for our full yes which is more of the solar eclipse energy coming up on october 2nd and yeah i feel like the power of the now so many people wait for that perfect opportunity to commit to themselves and their spiritual and transformational journey and then they never do it and there's people out there that you probably look up to that made that bold decision to just go for it and to take that quantum leap into the unknown and know that there is no perfect moment. There's never going to be enough energy or enough money or whatever stories that you make up in your mind. And just wanted to share a little bit about my story and one of the biggest boldest decisions that I made over two years ago was investing $20,000 into the Temple Body Arts mystery school founded by Sophia Tom and it in my mind I was like what the that absolutely makes no sense to spend that kind of money and 
I really had to drop my awareness down and trust the wisdom that's living within me because every cell of my being and my body was saying yes, but I was caught up in the doubts and the stories and the worries that I wasn't going to be able to figure it out. And that now looking back over two years later and being a part of this sisterhood has completely transformed my life and it's allowed me to really step up, level up to being the global way shower, the divine feminine leader, the retreat leader, the festival creator, the so many different things. And if I wouldn't have allowed myself to go on that deep, deep transformational journey, then I wouldn't be where I am today. And the support from my mentors within that program to help me to see my shadow because it's not easy for us to see it on our own unless we have that mirror reflections and it's like it is through the eyes of our sisters that we remember who we really are and i just felt so inspired and activated after those calls and so i'm just so glad that i didn't listen to the fear that was coming up and i trusted in the wisdom of my body and also my very bold decision to follow my heart and come to Guatemala to live, to be with my beloved. And it was so scary, like so scary that I was letting go of my community and what was familiar and comfortable in like Tahoe, California. And it's not like I'm letting go of that forever, but it was a really huge initiation for me to actually trust my heart even though it wasn't always comfortable coming here i was living in a house we were living in a house with mold and i knew in my intuition the whole time that we were there that something wasn't right and it took weekly check-ins with my partner we created this opportunity for us to have weekly check-ins to really give us the sacred and safe space to share what was present for us and what was alive and what bothered each other about things that we were doing and how we can come up with a solution together and to flow well together. And through those safe, sacred containers, I was able to continually share that I really desired and needed a space where that was free from mold and where we had more space away from each other that was more new and fresh. And we created this whole list of this house that we wanted to manifest and how many bedrooms and the light and the view and the garden and the bathtub and all the different things. And that was really me coming into my sort of discernment and honoring that what is happening right now is not working for me because I was starting to get sick and my mental and space and my emotional well-being was just not having it. And I knew that I needed a space that felt like our own and was fresh and clean and just vibrant and opening. And that was going to allow me to feel grounded and alive and radiant and able to share my gifts. And so I really honored my sacred no and now we are in our dream home and just life just feels so amazing we are creating separately and together and i'm just so incredibly grateful i'm sitting in my one of the gardens now it's just ridiculously beautiful here and i just want to share this story because this is possible for you this is possible for you to magnetize your highest desires to come into a space that is grounded and fully aligned and to trust, to trust your intuition that you didn't come here to play small, did you? I don't believe you did. Like, I did not come here to play small. We have a limited time on this planet. And the opportunity is now to stop playing small. And with these energies of the cosmos, we have this opportunity to really quantum leap into the next evolution of our soul. So I have something really special that is ending in less than a week. 
I have made my 101 goddess activation portal very accessible because I wanted to open up to more, more women that have been commenting and messaging me and just feeling so inspired. And I know that it's been a little bit more than some of you can afford. And so I have opened up this really special eclipse discount that is only until October 1st. And it's your real opportunity to be supported and guided into the next evolution of who you are and who you are becoming to seeing your blocks and cutting that shit out, coming into your power, your discernment, your sovereignty, and not being afraid to confidently fully express yourself unapologetically and authentically and magnetize wherever you're calling into your life, whether that's your dream home, whether that's feeling good in your temple body, feeling fit, feeling alive and radiant, or maybe that is calling in your purpose or calling in more clients or creativity, or maybe it's calling in a sacred union partnership, whatever it is, I am here to support you on your journey. So if you are feeling activated by these codes that are coming through, I invite you to send me a DM, Eclipse Quantum Leap, and I will send you a link to give you more information. And remember, it's only until October 1st. So let's go, baby. Uh, uh, time is now. Yes. Brrr.